Hi everybody, Rochelle here from Quebec CQD, broadcasting from a weird part of my store. Today I'm going to show you all the amazing new African cichlids that I got this week. So stay tuned because you do not want to miss this video. So in last week's episode, I showed you all the new fish that I got over the summer. So this was a bit of everything, African cichlids, tropicals, but today we are just looking at African cichlids, mainly cichlids from Lake Malawi. I'm only showing you a little part of what I got, so if you want to see my whole stock list and my whole shipment list, uh, the links will be in the video description, so go check it out. If you don't know me, my name is Rochelle. I have a local fish store in Terrebonne, Quebec. That is right outside of Montreal, and I'm open to the public, and I ship throughout Canada. If you ever you're from Canada and you see something on the list that you like, just send me a little email. The link will be right in the video description as well. And we'll talk. At the moment you're watching this, today, whenever the fish are out of quarantine, they are done. I always keep them in observation for a couple days, a couple weeks, depending on the fish. All of this is done. So if you want, if you see a fish in there, come get it. If Sometimes I only have one of a certain species, so if you're coming from far, just call before to make sure I have it in stock and I can put it aside for you the time you come. All right, enough chit chat, I get it. Now, let's look at some fish. Starting off with the awesome haps and predators. These fish come from Lake Malawi. They are the Olonokara, the peacock. They're their fancy cousin. Most of these can be kept in tanks of 75 gallons and up. They are swimmers, and they will thank you for giving them more room to swim in by showing you their amazing colors. Even now they started to color up, but they're not even 100% yet. Can you imagine what they're gonna look like? If you can't, Google it. The names are right there. I got a full tank of Plasdocramis milomo. I have one tank with the other hats, the individual ones I showed you, and this tank is just the milomo. It had been too long since I got some and I kind of splurged. They are camera shy, so we can't see them that well. They'll have to get used to the spotlight if they want to be my friends. are another group of fish from Lake Malawi. They are best kept in schools. Many of these can be kept in tanks of 30 gallons and up. Why am I showing you yellow labs? Because this is the variety from Ruwari. Their yellow has an orange tint to it. The male Johannes start off orange and end up blue, like those we will see later on. This little guy is starting to color up. It's subtle, but it's there. Pseudotrophaeus elongatus shewari. This imbuna isn't usually more aggressive than the others, but in this video, they are. The white on their face are scratches made in combat. Don't worry, there haven't been any casualties. Oh my god, did you see that? This guy is insane. Sinotilapia zebroid jalo. Some people might say that I have too many varieties of this fish. I just block them out. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. This variety has more yellow in the dorsal fin than the others. See, they're not all the same. Pseudotrophaeus perspicax endumbi. The males become light purple with an orange crest on top. In all of my shipments, in all of my years, I swear this is the best footage I could get of them. They are camera shy, but they don't hide more than the average embuna in a tank. Don't let them fool you. Pseudotrophis Johanni Blue. This is like the orange one, but blue. It's kind of like the uh, Cinerabdos Megano, but it's not. Again, a fish that I have many varieties of, just for fun. And as collectors can never have enough. 
So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, there's plenty more where that came from. So subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss a single video. If you want more fishy content, I have pictures that I post on my Facebook, my Instagram, and I have a very complete website where you can shop online, see all the fish I have for sale. So go check it out. The links are in the video description. If you like this fabulous Cichlid Geek t-shirt that I am wearing, well, they are available in my Teespring store. Every shirt you get really encourages me a lot and I am so grateful. So thank you to everyone who encourages me every week in my Teespring store, on my YouTube channel, and of course, in real life, in my actual physical store in Terrebonne, Quebec, right outside of Montreal. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.